I uh, hope you guys so I'm a terrible angle seriously I'm really bad at angles still getting used to this bloody camera is doing my head in seriously it really is doing my head in this camera um, it just goes out of focus sometimes when I'm filming like if you notice on the vlogs it's like not in focus and is this one in focus yeah I haven't done my makeup or anything yet guys so I look a bit rough so it's been a rushy 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 morning um, so the kids have had all the breakfast and things like that they've had some waffles warmed up this morning just like oh, this coming out please don't come out of focus camera I'm sure this camera's got a mind of its own it like decides if it wants to focus or not it does my head in this camera um, so, where was it up to? Yeah, the kids have just had all the breakfasts opened their calendars and yeah, we just had a relaxing morning. If you hear the dryer in the background guys, that's Shannon's um, outfit for later on um, because we are going out later. Um, they're going to spend their Christmas money. Oh my god, I look like an idiot now doing this. Um, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to going out later with the older freight and just spending some time with the older ones. I'm looking really forward to that. And um, looking forward to just being able to chill with the older ones and not needing to run after little ones. Seriously, guys, you know where I'm coming from when you've got babies and <laughs> you take the babies to shopping and you go with the older ones. You can't really enjoy the time with the older ones or spend proper time with the older ones because you're chasing the little ones because you're frightened of, you know, me. Oh, every mother's with me like when we're shopping and like if I, sometimes I'll take holding the pram sometimes I'm not because it's nearly three but I just find it easier especially when we're going out as a family to have Cody in the pram especially if we go into a shopping centre with escalators that is my oh I'm so 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 paranoid of escalators especially with the kids like if George or Cody ran near them and oh guys no no scares the bleeding daylights out of me um so like Johnny understands now because obviously he's that bit older than Cody um, and Cody just doesn't know fear at the minute because he's in terrible twos they don't know fear do they guys seriously like I've done it like seven times before um, but, but he's at that age where he doesn't know what fear is and he'd run straight he's done it before he's tried to run towards the escalators and obviously I'm on the bottle like that and they're like and they're like the bleeding flash <laughs> Um, once he's only done that and now I'm just on the ball all the time all the time I know we've had a comment about the mirror in the living room as well like it makes people anxious we are on the ball with the mirror guys we've had the mirror for, for a while now we've had it for ages touch wood um, the children do not bother with that mirror and we are all there's always someone in the living room with the babies anyway if it's not me it's dad if it's not dad it's one of the teenagers they never go near that mirror guys I'm not um, I'm on the ball when it comes to that mirror seriously and um, we've not had one accident touch wood um, so yeah I'm on the ball when it comes to that mirror the babies have never ever left in the living room on their own ever I'm too paranoid because um, what can I say my babies are very hyperactive and they like to jump and things like that and I'm, I'm nervous when it comes to banging heads and um, falling and because the older ones used to do it all the time all of the time I don't think the younger one the younger babies the younger two boys are as bad as Alan and Ethan Alan and Ethan were terrible terrible for um, banging the red and splitting the red open and things so they did it a couple of times at Nana's uh, especially our Ethan um, our Ethan um, used to run round because he's got a niece not a niece an aunt that's similar age to him so he used to run round because like it used to, used to be able to run around in a circle in the Nana's house, like, because there was the hallway that went into the kitchen, then the kitchen that, there was a door that went into the dining room, then there was a dining room that the door went into the living room, and then the living room and the door <laughs> went into the hallway, if you get me just guys. So it was like a circle, so even just used to run around, um, run around all the time. It was so hyperactive, even could never sit him down, he'd never, because he has ADHD, he was... It was so hard to get him to just like even sit there and watch a movie or something like that. Um, we didn't know he had ADHD at that time. He wasn't diagnosed ADHD till he was about seven. But guys, you could imagine how hyperactive he was. Oh my days! Um, even to get him to sleep when he was younger. Oh my lord! It was really, 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 really terrible. Seriously, 
<clears throat> so yeah so I don't think the Riley no not Riley well Riley's not as bad as the older boys neither Riley and Keegan well Keegan is Keegan can be a bit hyperactive um, but yeah so that's what just a quick <laughs> update for you guys what the children have been up to but yeah our Ethan was diagnosed at seven um, and then we thought right this is why he was so hyperactive and he used to always bang his head and things like that it was terrible terrible but he's grown out of it now <laughs> he doesn't run around the hat could you imagine him doing it now no 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 um so um i need to not say it. um come on woman so we had a telephone call yesterday i've got some good news to say to tell you guys keegan's heart specialist rang yesterday and his heart results came back what how we wanted them to come back so we're very happy parents right now so so happy and um, the hole's not got any bigger um and it's just amazing it's just amazing news the doctor's happy and um, he's so so happy it's not got any bigger it's still it's still leaking but it's not got worse where he needs heart surgery so so we're going to be seeing in another 18 months and um, hopefully hold still the same not getting any bigger so that is great news we've had great news on both of our boys on both of our boys we're so happy so so happy about time some good news comes our way especially with the children big thumbs up for us guys big thumbs up um, so anyway we need to get ready soon because we are off out um, like I said with the three teenagers and spend some time with Shannon, Alan and Ethan with no younger ones running off making mummy a nervous wreck so I can just chill out and enjoy some time with the older ones so I need to go and put my face on I look rough this morning <laughs> so it's not long been up guys not long been up and we'll check in with you guys when I'm ready I've got my outfit on I'll show you guys my outfit in a bit um, I managed to get my hair straight and I've just not managed to put my face on yet so Hi Matt guys, so I'm just having a look for a Christmas outfit for the babies. Um, that's what we definitely need a Christmas outfit for the babies. Um, don't know where to go with Spider-Man. I know the older ones want to go into... Um, where is it you want to go in a bit if? Um, is it JD? Mm -hmm. Things like that. I uh, want to go and have a look in JD after we've been in Primark. So we'll do, Prim we'll do Primark first. Um, put the baby's outfit up and then. So our Shannon's saying, Mum, Shannon's just having a nosy round. Isn't she? <laughs> so, Eve, put your mask up over your arms, please. You have to keep it up. Um, so, yeah, let's see if we can find anything for the babies. I can't find any Spider Man because Cody's obsessed with spider-man as you guys know he is serious that he is so obsessed with spider-man you got your mask up here oh there's a there's some spider-man well they've already got these spider-man wellies um i've only got these trainers though but i've already got them trainers for christmas so i don't need those i'll be just a waste of money um because i've just got i got them some a couple of weeks ago so oh guys the cute have you seen the cute event I think we chose the wrong day to call Primark. Primax earrings. Oh, look at these. Absolute bargain price. I love me hoops, mate. Even these. Oh, look how cute they are. I'm still looking at the earrings. <laughs> you know what I'm like, Shaggin. Look at all, all the glitz and glamour ones. They're nice, aren't they? They're so cute. Just come around to have a look at the jam. Have ya? And they got some more here. Bargain price, guys. There is that. 
I've had them before. Quite rubbish them actually, them ones. Really, really bad quality those ones. But yeah, bargain price. Absolutely, I love Prime out here. And Shannon gets them all the time as well. And she gets the hoops ones, I think they're just here. Um, these ones for a pound. You get all different size hoops. And you got these ones for 150. Um, so, yeah. Red tights to go with, are these socks, these ones? No, the tights. I'm, I need red tights to go with Isabel's Christmas outfit. So, just seeing if they got her size. Um, oh, I think they will definitely do, Isabel. But I've got no black one in there. Can't not. Let's, yeah, I think definitely get her eight to nine. So, she's got like loads of room. She is seven to eight at the minute. Um, six to seven, she's getting too small. So, this will be a little bit big, but not major. So they'll keep her warm anyway. Because um, I cannot see a 7 to 8 anywhere. So I'll get her these ones. Because I definitely need them for Christmas Day. So I'm not going to get back to Primark at all now. Till, um, obviously after Christmas. But yeah, I'm going to pick these up now. Yeah, nice. Smart though, aren't they? Wet look. They were a wet look style guys they're so smart pink I've never seen them in pink I've, I've, I've got them in black and you've got them in black haven't you yeah. I've never have you ever seen them in pink have you <laughs> they're smart though something different yeah they're nice aren't they they're nice oh this camera it's going out of focus I really do like them so you're getting any or you're not getting any which ones have you chosen let's have a look at them ones oh they're nice they're nice Focus camera, it's got its own mind. Yeah, I like them. <laughs> them Barbie ones. What are they? Towel like ones, the one you've got. Oh, no, no, they're not, are they? They are really fluffy and they're so nice. Look at them ones over there as well. You know, like the cream type ones. Um, like a Mickey Mouse one. The Barbie. quite cool. Look at the stitch ones. <laughs> They're nice, Shannon, look. Do you remember when you used to wear them? <laughs> yeah. Nice, aren't they? Do you just want some boys? Do you want some Barbie jammers? <laughs> That's the hood out the hood here. Smart though, them aren't they, Shannon? Do you remember when you used to play with Barbie? <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> oh, they've got 101 Dalmatian ones down there as well. Have a look at those, they're nice as well, aren't they? 12 pound. We've got a 90 there. 90 is nine pound. Nice, Shannon spotted something else. What have you spotted? Oh, pink ones. Ooh, how much are them, how much are them for the set? 13 pound, I'm sure. You need small. What size is that? Size. That's a small. Are they shorts or pants? Pants. Oh, that's all right. They check the size because they're all not in a. Do you know what? Get the bundle there because then they've just been flung all over the place. Yeah. No, the bundle in the size small there. Yeah. You got one. Well, oh, Shannon, Shannon, <laughs> Oh, they're all like, yeah, yeah, you're right, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sweet guys, so the kickers, three teenagers, here they are, <laughs> was starving. So, we've just finished up with Future, and then we're going to have a walk on. You want to look at the Christmas market? I want to look at the Christmas market. Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Thank you, Shannon. That's too cool. People are looking at she's like, me. I'm not shy, I don't care me guys. Right, we need to get a march on, don't we? And go and look on the Christmas market because you've not been on there yet. You, have you been on there? You've not been on there for a while, have you? You didn't go last year. Oh, none of us went last year. Have you been on the, yeah, you went with school the other day, didn't we? Um, and Shannon, you used to go on it all the time, didn't you? Before COVID. So, 
yes, let's start making our way. And I might go and see the Christmas Grotto in the Arndale, so in the town Arndale, because I've not seen it. Not seen that for a good few years, so I might have a look in there, see if it's still the same. As when I used to take these and the young ones to the grotto before COVID, see if they changed it up a bit. I don't know if it's on, I'm not really, really sure. I don't know, but I'll go and check anyway and have a look. What, if they've done anything different? I hope you can hear me, guys, with this mask on, seriously. I hope you can hear me. But anyway, let's get more into that Look at it. Are you caught? <laughs> you eat your ice cream. <laughs> Eve, put your mask on. Put your mask on, goodbye. Because we're going to be walking up here and there's quite a lot of people. Um, so put your mask on, yeah? We're in the Christmas market and we're gonna go uh, look around and yeah, I need some bath bombs so I'm gonna go look at the bath bomb aisle and I'll show you all everything that we're going to um, look at. But yeah, we're, as you can see guys, we're outside, we've got the lights on, we're outside the um, skate ice rink, ice rink uh, because the music's on and all the lights are on. So if we get the cameras to focus, then we'll show you guys. So. Let's go and find our chocolate, Shannon. Let's see. Wow, look at that over there. Look at the nutcrackers. <laughs> aren't they pretty cool? Yeah, <laughs> one there. Cool, aren't they? Oh, can I have a boo girl? Look, there's a DJ. Come in, Dad. Come in. Come on, Shannon. Do you know? Get to let it go. <laughs> I think they get hot chocolate. Yeah, I think. Oh, it's um, hot dogs in every video. Um, they got cold drinks here, boys. If you want one, you got a cold drink from there. I can't even see you because your coat might have blends in with the dark. <laughs> I can only see your face. <laughs> oh no! Oh, what there's, are these? There's the drinks. Oh yeah, we're we'll gonna get one. We've already eaten them, haven't we? We yeah. got a Christmas dinner though. That looks like a Christmas dinner. Yeah. Oh, look! Oh, we should have come for something to eat instead of McDonald's. Should have come here. Hey, don't you know that? I love my McDonald's though. I know you do. Right, we want hot chocolates. You don't do hot. You can get a cold drink here. You want a cold drink, boys? Yeah, I'll have a Pepsi. Yeah? Um, can I get two Pepsis, please? Ah, oh, thank you. Have you got any change? Um, have you got any change on your chair? Oh, it's all right. If you want, I'll, I've got something. I think I've got something here. I'll get you back. Have you got three? Yeah, I've got three quid in here. Yeah, with the camera on, guys, to get me change out. But let's go and get a chat. You've got a cold drink, haven't you, boys? So let's go in order to our chocolates then, Jen. Come on then, woman. Ah, oh, there should be a nice one over here. Went to this one with Keegan. This one over here, Shan. So it is a nice one over here. Straight up. Shannon, get us a latte. A latte with cream. I did get one when I came here with cakes. Okay. Um, so a hot chocolate for you and a latte for me. What are you getting a hot chocolate, Chad? Yeah. I've got the money here, Shannon. Let me just get it out. I'm just struggling with. I keep pulling my bus pass out my bus ticket. See ya. Because I've got to change my pocket. Right, there you go. So what did you say you're getting again? Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Get me a latte though, Shan, good girl. Okay. Got some mulled wine and things there, boys. 
<laughs> no, you're too young, yeah, you boys. <laughs> too young, you've got another year. <laughs> Even you've got to <laughs> beer, haven't you? From old wine. Hey, aren't you son? Oh, the Baileys. I'd really like one of them. I'm definitely having one of them Christmas Eve. A Baileys, definitely. Nice cappuccino, not cappuccino, latte. And Shan Shan's got hot chocolate, aren't you, Shan? And the boys have got a cold drink. They're just chilling out. Um, so after this, we're going to make our um, trots home, aren't we? I'm getting a bit cold now. It's getting a bit cold. Can you not? Have you used really. have you used all your bath ones yet? No, I've not even used my. I've used one. Your drumstick one. It is drumstick, isn't it? Yeah, I've not used that one yet. Have you not used it? I've, used it tonight, um, I've, I've got a bit of a cold because yeah, I, 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 obviously I used to make my own way to school. Yeah. Yeah. Coming down with a bit of a cold. It's only me and Isabel really that can't use them in it because me and Bella's got really really sensitive skin. Yeah. I mean, some, it depends what it is though, like sometimes mine will mask it more. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, am I getting it? Yeah, guys, um, I've got really, 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 really bad, terrible skin. Isabella's really bad. I'm just going to go I'm absolutely freezing, trying to get warm. I've got my demi jacket on with a big, thick jumper underneath. Um, but yeah, Isabella has really, 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 really bad eczema. Used to be really bad when she was younger, it's not as bad now. She still gets the odd patch and things. But yeah, yeah, so she can't use um, bath bombs. She can't even have um, normal um, bath soap in the bath. It's got to be a special ointment from the doctor, so yeah. Ethan used to be loud, didn't you, son? It's mainly my hairs that had it on. Yeah, he used to get it behind his hairs, he used to get it really, really bad behind his ears, Ethan, um, where all the creases were. Be bad for that. But I think they take after my dad for that, guys, because my dad had severe eczema on his fingers, really, really bad, where he had to wear gloves and things, so um, it runs in the family. family. Um, so, anyway, I'm gonna have my latte now, and then we're gonna make our travels home. How pretty is that? Ah, oh, how good! Are we going under? It, oh, don't go blurry on my camera. It's so magical. <laughs> oh, look at the tree, Shannon. Ooh. Oh, look how beautiful the tree is. It's amazing. Look at the baubles as well. How nice. Oh, look at the tree, guys. How beautiful is the tree? Ah, oh, this camera. Shan is just having a walk up there, like Shan. Look at the bubbles up there, Shan. <laughs> Ethan's just having some crisp out and drink. Oh, look how beautiful the tree is. to that time to end today's vlog. It's uh, about 11 o'clock, so it's pretty late now. They're all in bed. Everyone's in bed, Jade's in bed, apart from the three older ones, they're watching, I think they're watching a movie in the living room. So, I'm going to end today's vlog. Not being in it all day, like you guys seen, but we had some amazing news. I think it was yesterday we had a phone call for Keegan, so we had some ama amazing news. Don't have to be seen off his consultant for another 18 months, I think it is. So, so that's amazing, amazing news. So, on that note, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, keep watching. Keep subscribing and we'll see you in our next vlog guys. Peace out.